Lewis Bruins, welcome to UCLA and welcome to the start of a journey unlike any other. I'm UCLA's Chancellor, Gene Block, and I'd like to begin by acknowledging our institution's presence on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Gabrielino Tongva peoples. I want to thank our Tongva community partners for reminding us that we're all stewards of the land on which our campus sits. This is no doubt an exhilarating, though perhaps daunting moment for all of you as you begin a life-changing personal and intellectual adventure at the nation's number one public university. Alongside this change in your own lives, you enter a UCLA at a time of incredible transformation within society. The world is grappling with a global pandemic. America is struggling to address long-standing racial injustice, and we stand on the cusp of an immensely consequential U.S. presidential election just a few short weeks away. UCLA is changing, too. To keep everyone safe, the majority of our classes are being offered remotely, and fewer students than usual are living on campus. But our faculty and staff have been preparing for this, and I promise that this quarter, while unique, will still be a deeply enriching one that helps you build connections to our campus and to each other. Your incoming class of 10,200 new Bruins is absolutely brimming with talent and distinction. 130 of you were student body presidents. 192 were academic decathlon participants. 175 of you were black belts. Some of you delivered medical supplies to refugees, and some of you were world-class musicians. A third of you were the first in your family to attend college. Your classmates will be central to your UCLA experience. They will help you expand your interests and deepen your understanding of yourself and of the world. I know your class is already buzzing with energy and connecting on social media, and you'll have another chance to connect through UCLA's Common Experience Program, which fosters discussion among newly admitted students based on a single theme and work of art. This year's theme is Minds Matter, a focus on mental health and we'll explore that subject through an animated series, BoJack Horseman. I'm excited to see how the community will come together for screenings, discussions, and art projects related to this topic and show. For all of us, this academic year will be a grand experiment in collective responsibility and community building. In the past few months, you've had to make many changes in support of the common good, from wearing a mask, to adjusting how you spend your time, to seeing friends over Zoom. These personal sacrifices, acts of care and compassion made for the sake of the greater community, will need to continue as we work to limit the spread of COVID-19 virus in Westwood and around the world. It is useful to practice this care and compassion too, because these traits have always been central to building healthy communities on diverse college campuses. And trust me when I say that UCLA is diverse. The youngest person in your class is 14. The eldest is 67. Among you are transfer students alongside those right out of high school. You come from 46 U.S. states and more than 50 countries. At UCLA, we have veterans and civilians, artists and tech entrepreneurs, conservatives and progressives, and people from whom labels have no meaning. We have Bruins who speak dozens of different languages, have different sexual orientations, and practice a multitude of religions. We welcome and cherish every one of these individuals as equal members of our community. Given this diversity, our respect and care for one another, despite our differences, is necessary to create a community where we learn from and with each other. Even when we disagree with a person's ideas, we must respect that person's humanity. I learned from teaching on Zoom this past spring the importance of remembering that we're not just tiny boxes on a screen. There's a real person on the other end of that video call, a person with their own history, dignity, strengths and weaknesses, who can be brilliant and who can make mistakes. Our community ties can be strained in times of crisis, and they can be tested in an election year. 
Remember that passion can make you strong, but compassion can make you wise. A compassionate community is a resilient one where we feel brave enough to take risks, to move past stereotypes, to open ourselves up to new ideas and the insights of others. There's something else I want to remind you about with regard to respect. Sexual assault, relationship violence, and stalking are crimes against the dignity and safety of individuals, against the values of our community, and against the law. They will be treated as such. Pay attention to the Student Code of Conduct and the University of California policy on sexual violence. Understand what consent means. Know your own boundaries and respect the boundaries of others. If you encounter sexual misconduct of any kind, please report it immediately to UCLA's Title IX office or off-campus authorities. Newest Bruins, as you settle into the fall term, please take good care of yourselves and take care of each other, and know that the UCLA faculty and staff are here to support you if you need it, whether it's planning your class schedule, seeking financial assistance, finding clubs to join, or receiving counseling. This is a challenging time that's making big demands on all of us. Remember, you can always ask for help. Once again, I'm delighted to have you join our thriving community. You bring to UCLA your intelligence, energy, creativity, curiosity, and an eagerness to seize this transformative moment to reshape the world into a better one. We are so thrilled to have you join us as fellow Bruins. And with that, on with the show.